Here's how to reset keyboard predictions on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you start to type something, but the predictions or suggestions are way off, you can always reset that back to the factory default. I'll show you how to do it, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, if you hop into messages or anything and you start typing something, you can see that it pops up with all these predictions or suggestions on what to type next. But if I tap on there, you can see that it doesn't always know what I'm trying to say, and it's not always very helpful. You can turn this off and then turn it back on. That is one good way to reset it, but there are some other ways too. Let's hop into your settings and then scroll down to general, and then we'll scroll down to keyboard. Now, the first thing that I would recommend doing is try to turn off this predictive text and then wait a little bit and toggle, toggle it back on. Just by re-enabling it, it should help refresh those things and re-kind of calibrate what those suggestions or predictions are. Now, another option you have here is to just go back, scroll to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then you'll be able to see at the very bottom reset. Let's tap on that. And what we're gonna choose is to reset your keyboard dictionary. Tap on that. You're gonna enter in the passcode for your phone here, and then you might need to enter in the passcode for screen time. Let's enter that in. After you've done that, it says it will delete all custom words that you have typed, including you know, everything on your keyboard, returning your keyboard back to factory default. Essentially, all of the predictions or estimations on what you want to type next will be basically brought back to factory default. However, if you don't necessarily like this feature, it is a feature that is just built into the default keyboard on your iPhone, and you can always use a third-party keyboard as well. So you can always go into the App Store here and just type in keyboard. And from here, you can choose a bunch of different keyboards. There's a bunch of options. One good and popular one is the Gboard here. Basically, this is Google's keyboard that you can use on your iPhone. But you can see there's a bunch of other keyboards as well. And on here, they might have their own predictive tests or suggestions, or you can completely turn that feature off if you don't necessarily like it anymore. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.